that it's going to be a lot of slides off the setter. They'll be active along the front. They're trying to get their middles involved as much as possible. Haven't been too many wrinkles in terms of game film. As there's a free ball for high point. Van Ekren sets Mink. Continues her rampage in the middle of the floor. Decker looks to engineer a comeback in set number one. They did it twice against the Vaqueros Thursday night. And there's a block from Amonage. Shola Amonage and Kayla Davis have really come along as blockers, especially of late. Amonage, 22 blocks on her last six. Jillian Zimbo, the defensive specialist. Grad transfer from Butler to serve. Averaging just north of two and a half digs is set. Tip shot, and Van Ekren sets the middle for Weselich. High point offense firing on all cylinders these last few points. To Heilig Sid for Decker. And an overpass for the Cats to Heilig Sid on the dump. Jan Marie to Heilig Sid, 5 2. But unfazed by the blockers at the net. Is not the most ferocious on the front line, but. Now have come up with three blocks tonight. Van Ekren back set for Miggins. And a back row effort. Now Logan on the slide. What a play by Maria Miggins. Quick reflex. And the reigning Big South Coast setter of the year with yet another kill. Right, Davidson has put their noses back in front. Doyle, and Davis blocked well on the front line by M. Key. Nobody's blocking Slusser though. It's the Slusser show in set number two. Seven kills on the day on eight swings. So no Palazzolo thus far. And serving for the first time tonight will be Sophia Bolden. Miggins to the middle of the floor, and Mink denied at the net. Looked like Michaela Logan was in on that combo block. So even here around the midway point of the opening set. High point looking to build some momentum. Kratzer has been the go-to tonight on the outside. And Timmerman. Tucks that in the far corner. Gardner-Webb now on a 3-0 run of their own. McKenna Timmerman with her first kill. Miggins for Kratzer. And Katsavalos can't quite get there with the dig in time. Megan Kratzer has been dominant here early. The third kill of the night for her. And coming in, not a frequent feature in the lineup for High Point. Gotten some extended run here on her senior day. Hornaday on the slide for Logan. And Dumford with her first kill of the night. So a couple lesser used outsides in Lucy Dumford and Megan Kratzer beginning to make their impact felt here in the first set. I wonder how much rotation High Point will engage in as Mink comes in in time with the block. A game of 3-0 runs here in the opening set. Kratzer will keep the serve going. Hornaday for Timmerman. And a dump from Miggins. Maria Miggins has been an interesting story all year for High Point. Began the year as the Big South's preseason setter of the year, was the co-setter of the year in 2021. 
but displaced by Van Ekren, converted to a right side hitter. Coach Meek talked to me, he said, her attitude on swapping positions has been unbelievable. She's without question learned the right side role. She's done a great job there for us, added depth at pin hitter. Did not once complain, despite being accustomed to being the lead setter. Now functioning as a setter in the middle, good dig there. And Kotsavlos keeps the point alive. And an error from Garrison. A defensive lineup in for Gardner-Webb. Garrison and Sophia Bolden. But not enough to thwart high points, high octane attack. Here's Wessling on the serve. Joust at the net, and it'll go the way of Morgan Hornaday. So a razor thin margin here in the opening set. Both teams hitting north of 200. Gardner Webb at 250. Just one attack error. That's been what's really plagued them offensively over the course of the year. Aggressive swing from Sally. And another kill for her. Break here on ESPN Plus. High point on a little run. 15-12 here in the opening set. 